It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> All right, real quick, because I know you guys got stuff to do. Sure. Um, so, in, in Touchback, you're one of the friends, you're one of the players. Yep. What do you think that role means to the movie? Well, I think it's it means a lot. It means a lot, of course. It's As far as I'm concerned, it's the most important role in the movie. Right. But in seriousness, I, the movie is about a small town, and I came from a small town. And in a small town, it's about community. It's about your buddies. It's about your friends. And, and that's really, I think, the heart of the movie is... is you know, without giving it away, there's a scene at the end where the community comes together, and to me, that's what the movie's about. That's what I experienced growing up. I'm from Indiana, small town in Indiana, and uh, when we were shooting this movie, you know, we really, I think, felt that camaraderie, especially with Brian, myself, Mark, Lucas. Um, it was fun because it was like being back in high school again. You know, yeah. we went out with the guys in Coopersville and, and, and trained with them for a while. Mark Ellis, the football coordinator, we had those guys, and it felt like we were back you know, playing high school football again. Right. And uh, I think that's really, um, you know, that, recapturing that is really at the heart of what this movie is about. It's, you know, it's about your family and your friends and not forgetting where you come from. Right. And, you know, maybe you think there's a bigger, better, better world out there, but right. maybe it's not. Maybe it's right there in your own small town. So I'm really, really proud to be a part of this film. Now this, uh, one of the messages in the movie is, you know, would you do your life over again? Would you change anything? How about you as an actor? Would you do anything yeah. different? No, I wouldn't. But I got to tell you, if, if I knew then, you know, what it was going to take to get to where I am now, you know, maybe I might have not uh, gone down this path because it's hard. You know, it's a hard business. It's, it's uh, you, you're, you're faced with a lot of rejection. You're faced with a lot of uh, adversity. But... You know, to get to do things like this, and uh, you know, I've been very lucky in my career to do a lot of different things, and and, and for a small boy, small town boy from Lebanon, you know, that's pretty exciting. And uh, so, so yeah, I would not change a thing, uh, and and uh, and I'm really glad to be able to say that. So it, the movie's all about small town, yeah. Coopersville, small town feel. It wasn't too hard to pretend you were in a small town, right? <laughs> no, that's what was that was the best part of it. You know, um, I really love to go on location because I feel like that really helps. I did a movie called Straw Dogs that was out last year. And we shot that in Shreveport, Louisiana, and it's about a town in the south, and that was really helpful to you know. And, and so I think shooting a town, uh, shooting a movie about a small town in the Midwest, it was really important to be in a small town in the Midwest. And so, so for me, for an actor, I think that that really helps uh, do some of the work for you because you're there. You know, I, I would, I would, you know, we would go up and train at Coopersville, and then I'd take the long way home through the country and stop at the DQ like I used to do back home, and you know, before I got back to the hotel, and you know, that stuff uh, really was helpful, I think, in the whole process. And how about coming back to Pals? Because you guys did that in the movie. It was a central, like, rally point for you guys after the game. Yeah. Now you're back here again. <laughs> right, exactly. No, it's great to be back here. You know, it's been a year and a half since we shot the movie, and so I, uh, it's really kind of a, a blast from the past coming back. Uh, got in last night and kind of remembering what it was like to be here. Um, and uh, and that was, uh, uh, shooting a palace was my last night of shooting. Uh, I think they went a few days later, but that was my last night. So I, my folks drove up from Indiana, they were here, and cool. I got to drive this sweet Camaro around and around the uh, <laughs> the, the diner and, yep. and had just had a lot of fun. So I, I told these guys, and it's true, you know, and I've done a lot of work in my 12 year career, but this was one of the most fun and special uh, projects I've ever worked on. And what's, up, what's next for you? What's, what's up next? You know, I've been doing a lot of television, uh, you know, it's, uh, just on a show called Raising Hope. I'm on a show called Awake on NBC next week. Wait, uh, what, yep. what are you affiliated NBC, with? NBC, NBC, good, good. I got, I got yep. the affiliation, yep. right? Yep. I just shot an episode of True Blood uh, on HBO, so I'll be doing that. And, um, and uh, yeah, some other exciting things down the road that I can't talk about yet. But hey, you said you said you brought the beard back because of True Blood. That's right. Okay. Are you? Yeah. Uh, what what yeah, side are you the, on? The, the right. long beard. The long beard. Are well, you a vampire? I, 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 well. I or, or either. I can't tell you, okay. but you might be able to guess okay. uh, by by my, by the beard, okay. uh, and uh, and that was a lot of fun. But okay. but uh, but yeah, it's funny. Yeah, as I told you, I haven't had this beard this length since Touchback, so okay. it's good. I'm, you know, I feel like a you know Paul Bunyan or something. I don't know. Did Paul Bunyan have a beard? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like a lumberjack. Any questions, Pete? No, you're good. All right. Thanks, Drew. Thanks.